We are going further. We are doing a tapenade, okay? So you can do different kind of tips, tapenade or whatever, okay? So what we have here is a bowl of olives. So we'll just let me take a few of them, just one second. Let me put a few of those inside here. Okay. So this should be enough for the moment. Then we have lemon. Squeeze half a lemon inside. So you need a lot of lemon here. Very good. Now, a little bit of salt. And what you need is a little bit, a spoon of olive oil. I just measure it this way. Okay, that's enough. Put it here, back here. Now you can put a little bit of garlic if you like. You can put different other things inside. I, I usually put also a little bit pepper inside, a little bit of chili, but this is all about your own flavor. Now, what we need is this chopping blade, the sea blade, huh? okay? Just go with the sea blade on top of it. And then we go into the bowl here and then just chop. Very simple, very easy. Yes, the job is done by the machine. You don't need to force, you don't need to push here like this, no. Very simple, very easy. Just go inside, very, very lightly, gently. If you think the tapenade is too light, what you can do, of course, you can also put a little bit more olives inside, or you can put some other ingredients, different kind of spices, whatever you prefer. It's up to your taste, up to your flavor. Very simple, very easy. You can also do a larger quantity. You can use the olives you prefer, you like, only green ones, only black ones, mixed like I did and your tapenade is done. This will be absolutely amazing. Please remember, always strike it like this. Never push it on the bowl. I, you push it only on your hand, okay? Then the washing up, very simple, very easy. Go into a bowl of water or just give it a rinse under the running water and in five seconds your machine is completely clean. Very nice, very easy, okay? Now, what we're doing is we take a little plate here. We have some nice little gadgets here uh, from Bamix. You just put it all over into a nice jug or plate or whatever, and your tapenade is ready. Huh? All right, okay. So what you can do is decorate it a little bit. Just want to show you a little bit here. You can also put one of the olives on top of it to make it a little bit more nice, look more nice. And then if you like, you can also just push a little bit of oil over it and that's it. And here we are, a nice dip tapenade is done.